Hey, Barry, I had a question for you, buddy. That is how you weld in body panels, buddy. Tell me where they're welded, Barry. Take a good look. Tell me where they're welded, buddy. See, you don't see no big globs of weld, do you? Everything like that? That's how you do it, Barry. Just so you know. Figure I'd show that before we do a review tonight. Have a nice day, Barry. Hopefully, one day you will get to that great level of doing that. And I'm not no expert welder. I'm not no expert body man. I mean, but you don't see no big globs of weld, and none of this was overlapped. This is all butt welded. Butt -welded. Took my time, and went, so I mean, that's. I've been doing it for a long time, though. So I mean, that's when you do a car floor paint, you guys, or really anything, it don't matter if it's floor paint or quarter. Don't butt weld. Don't like. Don't put a lip on it and weld over it. Just butt weld it. That way, it's nice. That way, it looks like a factory. Because Barry's Barry's floors in that blue Mustang. I guarantee from the underside, you could tell exactly where they were put in. Eventually, you want this stuff to not look like it's ever put in. So, uh, see so you guys here in a little bit for review. But you can overlap shit if it's in it. If it, let's say you're doing a a, a lower. A lower quarter at the bottom and the trunk drop off covers it there's no there's no, no shame in, in in doing a lap weld there i mean but you don't want somebody to pop the truck and look in there and see it see a lip well on a floor pad you don't want somebody to be able to look underneath the car and tell you where you've exactly done there, it there's a time and a place for a lap weld and then there's time and a place and very shit you see big globs of weld everywhere because you probably can't smooth it out because i mean it, it's probably it's probably welded so globby that if you, and it's probably not got penetration. I mean, look how thick the, the welds are. Oh, you know there ain't no penetration on that sheet metal with a weld that big. Hang on. Hey, Barry, do you got you a Duralock set like that? You got one of those, Barry? I mean, if, if when you're welding sheet metal, if you have a great big clump of weld on it, then it probably don't have no penetration. You guys want to see it? sheet metal, when you're, doing a, when you're doing a butt weld, it should melt together and just leave a little weld. You guys want to see what I was doing today? Well, Dad was tinkering around with everything. All right, you guys. This is what I was doing. Actually, a buddy came over and helped me replace the bushings and the steering stem on this yeah, four-wheeler. Yeah, yeah. Before, you would do this to the steering stem, and this bushing down here would literally move side to side with everything. Bad steering stem bushings. When I got this quad, it came with all that. I've actually replaced. You actually see one of these right here. I need this greasy glove that I need to pick up, but that is uh, one of your spindle bushings. Well, I call it a spindle bushings. So, uh, well, yeah, yeah. While Barry was sitting on his ass not doing anything, the real men were at work. And yes, green plastic, KFX plastic on it, LTZ, but same fucking thing. Just be, it's a little, little, uh, little history lesson. These quads, these LTZ 400s, doesn't matter if it's KFX, an LTZ, um, a DV, DVMX, I think, is the Arty Cat version. There's one more. They all share the same frame. Same engine, same frame. The only difference is shocks. Shocks are, you know, on a, on a KFX, they're green. Suzuki, they're usually yellow. Plastics. Suzuki never came with green plastic. That was Kawasaki. Small, small, minute differences. But yeah, that's what I did today. Well, Barry did nothing. Um, actually ran a new throttle cable you know, to, my, to my car. Um, this right here is your choke on this. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, you guys want to see some riding? I think me and dad are going to go riding next weekend or dad don't want to. I'll probably go with a buddy of mine. Because I'll see some riding. Maybe we'll do that next weekend on a video if I even decide to go. Who knows? I might not. Um, so yeah. Barry, what'd you do today, buddy? Sit and play PlayStation? I saw you were live for like 23 minutes, but... Who the hell is going to tune into the 23 minute live? Hence why your views are down. You have all the subscribers in the world, but you're not approaching 3,000 fucking views per video. Not even 1,000 views per video. Yep, you're fucked, buddy. All right, see you guys next time. We'll hear in a little bit for a review. Bye bye.